Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? This is your girl, Crunk Girl 7-Eleven, and it's that time of the year again. It's December 31st, 2012, which means it is New Year's Eve, which means I gotta go to fucking work, which means this is a bummer. But, this is a treat for y'all because I do this every year on December the 31st. Y'all can check if y'all don't think I'm, I'm lying. Every year around this time, I do my PS3 collection, show y'all what games I collected, you know what I'm saying, over the year. And what games I kept from last year, which aren't many. Well, shit, I don't think it's none. I think I, I matter of fact, yep, because I sold most of the ones that I had from last year. I sold them um to get my PS Vita, which was actually a good purchase. I'm falling in love with the Vita. I'm enjoying the Vita. And for all you people who was hating on the Vita and whatnot, who cares? I mean, 3DS is cool. Might get it during tax time, but I'm cool with a Vita for right now. Vita is Vita is dope. They just need more games. Um. And they'll be fine. Which I think they're coming out with more games this uh, 2013. So it's going to be cool. So it's going to start it off. I'm just going to pick random games. So first game. And I'm missing one game. And that'll be a. Uh, 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 shit. What's the name of that damn game? Uh, fuck. I forgot the name of that shit. I, I bought it last year. Um. Something the third. I can't think of the name of that shit now. Uh, whatever. It's my cousin got it. So yeah. But yeah. So number one. Sleeping Dogs. I got high hits off of a video that I made with, for this game. Um, when I went to um, Pax East in Boston in uh, April. This is a great game. This is like probably my top five games of this year. You feel me? This is like top five this year. Um, the characters very well modeled. The game felt like true crime, but it felt like a different kind of game. This all around was a great game. Um, and I would say tell I would tell anybody to get this shit. Um, I would tell anybody to get it, play it, enjoy it for the combat. Um, the story is actually pretty good too. Which is not really something true crime was really known for. It was really more known for combat. But this one right here, the story was actually very deep and it was pretty good. So, it's true crime. Secondly, um, Medal of Honor Warfighter. And yes, I do got this game for one for the battle. Y'all see the Battlefield 4 beta. Um, that shit, I think, coming out in 2013. And for two, I wanted to see how they upgraded, um, how they changed uh, from the last Medal of Honor, which I didn't like. And for some reason, I like this game. It's not bad like everybody makes it out to be. It's not Battlefield. It's not Call of Duty. But it's something different. You know what I'm saying? I, I still wish they, they still need to tweak some shit. And I, I also feel like they shouldn't have rushed this game out. They should have waited. I feel like they should have waited till like, early uh, 2013 to drop this game um, instead of pushing it out just for it to be out and it wasn't done but um it's a pretty good game um, me and Artemis gotta get on this more yeah Artemis I'm talking to you me and you gotta get on this more cause I be beasting on you man it, man I was beasting uh what was that last week and I, yo, I got so no yeah Christmas I was beasting on this shit so hard <laughs> I quit I got off of it I'm like yo let me get off this shit and the niggas was sending me mad friend requests. It was funny. I was just beasting for no apparent reason. And I hadn't been on this game for eight months. And it was beasting. Um, from that, we're going to go to... We're going to go to that one yet. Dishonor. I have not played Dishonor yet. So... Cannot tell y'all what it's about yet because I ain't gotten to this yet. This is one of the games I bought for Black Friday. <clears throat> if you want to check that video out, uh, I might put it in the video description. Um, I have not checked it out yet. So this is one of the games I will be playing from now to March because as I'm probably not going to be buying no more games till March 2, 2013 when Tomb Raider and some other games start to come out in March. Um, I heard this was a great game though so that's why I went ahead and bought it. And got it out the way because it was on sale for like twenty five dollars. They had it on that Black Friday shit, and then it was already on sale. So I got it on like the low cheap. So I couldn't resist getting it. Then you know what I'm saying, instead of waiting. So dishonored for the win. 
um might show gameplay from this um i got my new battery so 2013 i'll be putting on more gameplay because i got a new a brand new battery not a used one and i'm gonna get it put in probably next week um so black ops 2 i did cop this black ops 2 was really fun game kind of repetitive like it always is but I'm waiting for my clan to get everybody to get it because only one person I think doesn't have it is my homegirl Red Infamy. So waiting on her to get this so we can dominate and talk shit like we used to on our first Black Ops. Like we used to have so much fun on Black Ops. Like y'all have no clue <laughs> how we had so much fun on the first Black Ops. In Modern Warfare 3, everything died. <laughs> like literally died. Nobody played that shit but now. Um. I'm going to go there to Prince of Persia HD Collection, another game I got for Black Friday. Came with three games, so basically that's three games on uh, it's the HD Collection. It's um, Sands of Time, Warrior Within, and um, Two Thrones. Haven't started playing yet because I beat the first one already, but I'm going to go back and get them. Hopefully they got trophies so I can beat these. Um, so yeah, Prince of Persia HD Collection for the win. <clears throat> um, let's see. Let's go with L.A. Noir. <clears throat> this is a game that came out, I think, last year, um, 2011, or, uh, yeah, like, mid-late 2011. I'm just now getting to back to this game and actually trying to beat it. I'm, like, six missions away from beating it all the way. Um, great, great game, very underrated. Facial recognition, correct, like, Oh my God! So it's like something serious, and I hope Rockstar does some more games like this and pushes the envelope when it comes to face facial expressions and also how the body moves. I think if they could get how the body moves, like they get the face to move, it'd be something serious. Maybe a new Red Dead Redemption or something like that could actually benefit from this game. So, um, L.A. Noir, great game. Um, <clears throat> another HD collection. I um, unboxed this this year, Jack and Daxter. Uh, I'm on Jack and Daxter 2 right now. I think I beat one already. So I'm on uh, Jack and Daxter 2. Um, this is a PS2 game that they um, HD, remastered HD. So this came out in the PS2 era. Um, I grew up on these games. So yeah, Jack and Daxter for the win. Great game for, like I said, great game for kids. Um. <clears throat> Another game. A lot of people was disappointed in this game. I actually liked the demo. This is Resident Evil 6. Um, I did a demo review. With me, and my, me and Red Infamy did a demo review on this game. This game is not bad as people thought it was. I th did think Chris Redfield's part was just a little too damn much, but that's just me. But um, I haven't started on this yet. Um, I think I'm gonna get on here with um, my boy. Um, um, Z I think I can say his name. Fuck. I how you say his name, Zaire. Hopefully I say it right. Um, he's a great artist. Um, but yeah, me and him gotta get on this co-op, beat this co-op, cause he be on this all the time. Um, and I think a lot of people overreacted on that game. Um, PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale. Yeah. Now this is a very underrated game, which is fun as shit if you got people who play it. Me and Pyro be playing it. I fell off a little bit because I've been playing other games. And it's um you get two games in one. So I have this for my Vita, but I just haven't played it yet on my Vita yet. I'm stuck on Persona 4 Golden right now. But yeah. This one is a fun game. All PlayStation um All Stars is all in here. Kratos, Nathan Drake, um what, Sackboy, um Look Fat Princess, Jack Daxter, anybody you can think of, they're in here. Um <clears throat> Let's see, I did that, did that. Okay. Hitman. Now I have been playing this. Hitman is that shit. Like this game looks great, and I saw the PC comparisons and PS3, Xbox. Like the PS3 comparison was way better than Xbox, but PC, like everybody knows, PC is way better. But graphically, this game is great. Um, I love stealth games. Hitman always has been stealthy type of game. Um. Try probably gonna try to beat this game um, early this year. I got a lot of games to catch up on between now and March, so let's get it. And also, I played this at a uh, Comic Con, Square Enix. Y'all, y'all did y'all thing last year. Um, 
Let's see. And now are some of the big daddies that I played this year. Um, Ghost Recon, Future Soldier. To be honest with you, I beat this game already. One game I did beat. Um, and also, the um, storyline was crazy. The ending is funny. Um, Multiplayer-wise, this is the most balanced multiplayer I played this year. Hands down. Best, like, everything was so balanced. You know what I'm saying? If you had a team, only thing is, if you didn't have a team, of people who know how to play this game and you play with randoms they don't know what they're doing all they want to do is shoot people then you're gonna have problems but if you have people who play objective based games third person shooters you will love this game like hands down this game was great best game multiplayer wise I played this year probably hands down um, and that's high praises for me because like I'm a battle I like I play battlefield and talk about battlefield I still have Battlefield 3 because they're still coming out with DLCs, which is great. Um, Aftermath DLC dropped a couple weeks ago for PlayStation 2, I think maybe a month ago, maybe. So I've been on this shit heavy, uh, based it like I always do, playing as Scavenger. I need to bring y'all some uh, gameplay for this. So, because y'all actually like my Battlefield 3 gameplay, so I might bring y'all some for Scavenger or Gun, gun Game because I'd be going beast mode in them shits. Yeah, man. As soon as I get off them pistols and get to the assault rifles, it's ass. <laughs> it's ass. Um, okay, another big daddy that I, that I as y'all know, I am a huge 2K fan. 2K13 is one of the best games I've played since 2K10. This game has me addicted. I be on this game all the time, playing my my player game by game. I don't even simulate no more. Um, I said 2K13, I was not gonna simulate one game. So. I'm in December right now. I've been playing my game, been building my guy up. Um, they changed a lot of things in the game. I love the fact you can get VC now instead of doing all those drills. But the only thing is you can build your guy up easier. All you gotta do is play mad blacktop games and play mad um offline so I mean online association and shit like that and you'll you'll get your man will get quick. He'll get ninety nine probably before the end of the year. Um so other than that, they still need a lot of patching. It's the game's not perfect, but it's way better than 2K12. 2K is it's almost 2K10 level. It's just they need to do a lot more crisp passing and shit like that. But um, all in all, this was a good game this year, and I can't wait to see what they're gonna do for 2K14 because crew mode might be my mode. I'm not even lie, I love blacktop mode, so crew mode may be my mode next year. Um, because team up, I be on that. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay, got two more games to go, I think. Um, next game, Borderlands 2. And y'all already know, Borderlands 2 was my game of the year. This is my top game of the year. I don't care what nobody says. I love Walking Dead. Walking Dead was number two. But this game right here was my number one, and I felt like it should have been nominated for uh, Spike VGAs, even though they really don't matter. Gamers really know what it was game of the year. But... I felt like this was going. This right here was game of the year by far, and Walking Dead was a close ass second in Assassin's Creed 3. Um, but Borderlands 2 co-op, best co-op I've ever played in my life probably. Um, played this shit me, my boy Kevin, um, and my boy um, Big Cheese and Red and for me we be on this shit all the time. I need to get the plat for this game. Like this game is serious. I'm gonna get the DLC next year. <laughs> And this is going to be crazy, like, this game right here, like, I love this game. Like, I could play this game all day right here and not be bored. And the story is good, too. And Austin Jack, one is one of the best, like, villains, other than, um, villain I'm about to talk about right now. <clears throat> Far Cry 3. Now, if this would have been nominated for Game of the Year, it would have beat out Walking Dead by far. This game is one of the best first person RPG, whatever you want to call it, action adventure mashup I have played since Far Cry 2. A lot of people, y'all know, I don't do RPGs. It's got to be a game that keeps my interest. And this open world game keeps my interest. This shit is fucking hot. That's all right. You killing tigers, killing fucking deer, making this, making that, getting in the water, killing sharks, um, all kind of stuff you gotta do, man, it's a, a high upgrade from Far Cry 2, 
graphically, story-wise, and this guy right here is one of the best evil motherfuckers I have ever met in a in a video game ever. Boss is that dude. He will shoot, kill you. He's like, I think he's fucked up in the head. That's I'm just I'm just saying. So Far Cry 3 would have been game of the year for me too, but I think this is a Far Cry 3. If it would have came out just a little bit, it may be early November, October. This would have beat out a lot of games. Um, the Borderlands 2 is my favorite, but this game is this game. I forgot this game right here is really close to. Um, <clears throat> oh, in my last game. Assassin's Creed 3. This game had one of the best storylines I played this year. Graphically, it has upgraded. You can tell that another um, company did this game, not the ones who did Brotherhood. Um, everything about this game was awesome. And uh, yeah, this game was just all about good. And I gotta go. Huh? This is your Corn Girl 7 Eleven, and I'm out.